What's up guys? I'm Costin from xphotography.ca and I'm a wedding photographer. Also, I'm a product and real estate photographer. Today I will share with you some ideas, some tips and tricks how to photograph the wedding rings on different way than usual. Stay with me and you will find all of them in the next moments. Stay tuned. <laughs> most cases I'm lighting up the rings from above and like this I will avoid having hard reflection on rings. For this tutorial I'm using Nikon D800 and the lens will be Nikon 100mm 2.8 VR macro. For lighting I will use also one or two flashes Nikon SB910 and I will use triggers from Godox X Pro N transmitter and X1RN receiver. Like modifier, I will use a small softbox Godox 40 by 40 cm with S-type balance mount bracket for speed lights flashes, also made it by Godox. I will have all the gear on the description below. For the first scenario, you can find any wood surface or something that imitate the wood and place the light above or resistant can help you to hold the light. You don't have to use a big modifier because you will place the flash very close to the rings and the size of the light will be very large compared with the rings so you will have a soft light on them. It is much better to find a rough surface not that smooth because you will have small shadows on the texture or surface and always shadows makes dimension in the picture. You have to set up the aperture above f10, the ISO around 200 or lower and the shutter speed should be double than your focal length. You should be sure that you kill all the ambiental light. Also, you can play with some flowers, for sure you will find some on the reception area or on the party. I really love to have a clean and simple background and al always I'm placing the flowers on the side, not behind the rings or also I'm placing flowers not on the same focal length with the rings. For the second scenario, you can find any reflective black surface like TV stand, table, shelf, etc. You have to use the same light and settings from previous scenario. It is very important to have both rings on the same focal length and you can use your phone to align them. You must go low with the camera, almost the same high, height with the, with the rings to catch the reflection. Otherwise, you cannot see the reflection. Some surfaces are more reflective, others less reflective, depends a lot of the type of surface that you have. It is much easier to add to the side of the rings a white piece of paper or a napkin to bring some light in the front. It is not mandatory but it will be much easier for you in post-production. Here. It's more complicated and you have to bring the second light and you have to use a gel to change the color of light. It's up to you what color are you choosing to have a backlight. The second flash should be at 45 degrees and very close to the rings, the same distance as the other flash. It is very difficult for me to tell you the power of each flash because it depends on the model of flash, the distance, also the type of gel. So you have to play with lights to find the best settings for your setup. If you want to be more creative, you can carry with you a small spray bottle with water and to set up the camera on the timer mode and to spray water on the top of the rings on the same time that camera is firing the trigger. If you don't like the color of the backlight, turn off the backlight and you can take picture after you spray the water and all the bubbles will make like texture. Also, you can spray on the same time when the camera is firing. If you are not in the hurry, you can bounce one flash on the wall behind the rings and you will make a nice background, but be careful at the aperture. If you have an aperture above f8, you will start to see the line between the reflective surface and the background. 
My advice is to have the aperture around f4 and f5.6 and you will make that line blurry, very smooth. Also, here you can spray some water above the rings and you will make a really nice effect. Very easy to use and very creative. The same you can find reflective surface, place the light above like before, search on Google blurry background and choose your background. You have to increase brightness of your phone at maximum and place it behind the rings. Now you must expose the background and then you have to adjust the top light for a nice exposure of the rings. Next you will have some example with different backgrounds. Thank you so much for watching this guys. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more of my stuff. See you next time and be safe.